back with kind of a continuation of um, a previous video that I had done on um, easy to take care of houseplants. This one's a little bit different in that I am planning on doing some propagation and doing some repotting. So I thought I would share with you some kind of easy tips on how to repot plants that have outgrown their pots and how to do some both some soil and water propagation. So I have a couple of plants here that I have already already started propagating. Um, or I have one plant here that I've already started propagating, which is this one. This is a silver uh, satin pothos, I believe it's called. And you can see um, kind of, I don't know if you can see, but those leaves have some kind of sparkly um, spots on them that are really pretty and I cut these off of a larger plant that I had and then propagated them in water and they have gigantic roots at this point so it's really time to to plant those in soil um, although I have read that they can stay in water forever um, but I really want to put mine in soil so I can um, put it somewhere a little less worrisome I'm, I'm worried about water tipping all over the place if one of my cats knocks into it or something so um time to time to plant that one i also need to give this giant plant a haircut this is um, a goldfish plant this is actually a plant that was propagated from um, a friend's cuttings um, one of my co-workers at the library actually um, had this plant uh, many years ago and and gave me some cuttings from it and it has grown into this really big thing that definitely needs a haircut but if you can see the flowers they look like little goldfish i just think they're so cute um so i'm going to cut some pieces off that and just pot them directly into soil and then this last plant is uh peperomia peperomia obtusifolia which i actually showed in my first video as um, a really easy to care for plant and this one is just still in its pot from i think i got this at the grocery store like a year ago um but it needs to be repotted into a into a more uh, permanent pot so um i'm gonna do those three things with you today and um, we'll get started so for this propagation and repotting project, we're using some pretty simple um, supplies that you can get at your local nursery or um, home improvement store. They usually have a section that carries these as well. Um, so we are using just a plain potting mix. Um, it has some fertilizer in it already. We are using some vermiculite. That's not necessary, but I like to use it and I'll tell you why after. Um, and then I'm using these two pots. Um, these pots have a little plug in the bottom and you could take the plug out and put this on um, a plate or a little saucer of some kind and that would be your drainage. I want to keep the plug in because I don't really want to put these on a saucer of any kind. So I'm going to use these river rocks just to put on the bottom of the pot because that will create drainage. If you don't have drainage, you can um, get root rot because your roots will be too wet. Um, I also have just a spoon. You could use, you know, like some sort of actual gardening utensil, but I'm just gonna use a big spoon and that's it. That's all we need. So we're gonna get potting. So the first thing I'm gonna do is repot this plant um, so that it has more room to grow. The roots have more space. So I'm gonna start by adding some of this vermiculite. Um, they're just little pellets. I'll show you a little bit closer up what they look like. Um, and I'm adding it to my potting soil because um, it kind of soaks up the, the water a little bit better. So I'm adding quite a bit actually. I've heard anywhere from like um, a, a four to one ratio, like four parts soil to one part vermiculite um, is a good combination. It, it just helps soak up some of the water so you don't have root rot. And also I find that it keeps um, those little gnats away. So vermiculite is really important to me in my repotting. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just put a couple of spoonfuls of the soil with the vermiculite in it. I believe perlite can also be used. And that's just gonna go in the bottom of my pot. I've already put my little river rocks in there so that um, we have some drainage. And we're gonna do um, about that much, I think. I'm gonna take the plant out of its nursery pot and see how much space we need. Um, so that actually looks about right. 
and we want to leave enough room so that the soil here doesn't go too high up on the pot. So we're going to take this guy out of his pot just by squeezing the pot gently and kind of pulling gently on the plant. And you can see that there are quite a few roots here that they are ready to expand. So generally speaking, you are supposed to kind of massage this a little bit to get the roots um, separated a bit. I don't generally do that too much because um, I'm just afraid I'm going to hurt the plant and the roots. I'm sure that there are ways to do it where you won't hurt the plant, but I'm not super great at that. So I kind of generally just leave it as it is, um, kind of loosen it up a little bit, but for the most part, just leave it um, the way it is and plant it. And I've never had a big problem. So I'm just plopping it down in the plant, kind of straight up as possible. And then I'm gonna grab some spoonfuls of my soil and just put it around the edges until the pot is all filled up. So this um, plant has been repotted. You can see that it's um, not all the way up to the top of the pot because you need some room to add some water to this plant. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do before I find a, a nice window for this plant. I'm gonna add some water to it. All right, so that's the peperomia. The next plant we're going to repot is um, the, this silver satin pothos that is with cuttings um, and has a great root system, so it's time to put it in a pot. Um, I have already put my river rocks in the bottom of this, about an, about an inch or so of them, just to cover up the bottom and allow for drainage. And with this one, I'm gonna start by adding just a little bit of my soil at the bottom because um, these roots I think we're going to have to work around. There are a lot of them. So I'm just going to add a few spoonfuls of soil in the bottom here and then I'm going to take my plant out of the vase here. Look at these roots. Those are crazy. Can you see these things? They are, it's, it can be, it's hard to tell what's root and what's um, stem at this point. There is a little leaf <laughs> that started growing. We'll try not to plant that guy, but he's pretty close to all the roots, so we might have to just pinch him off. And um, yeah, so we're gonna just stick these right in the pot. Um, and this is a hanging plant. I love hanging plants because I think they, I, I just love the way they drape over things. Um, and you could take little pieces so that it's not just hanging, it's also kind of sticking out the top. But I just like the way it looks hanging. So I am going to just put those roots down in there, grab my spoon, wherever that went. Oh, it's already in the bag of soil. Um, and I'm gonna take soil and just cover up all these roots. I'm just gonna keep spooning this stuff in until it covers up all the roots. And the, so that the stems aren't wobbling around. Um, that was something I was careful with, um, with the peperomia I just repotted. We don't want the stems able to move around in the, in the pot. So I'm just gonna keep spooning this in and we'll finish up. All right, now we've got this guy all potted up. These would look really nice in a hanging pot. Um, but th these pots themselves are very heavy, so I probably wouldn't hang that from anywhere. Maybe a lighter pot would work. But you can see the soil is again um, below the rim of the pot, so um, you can fit water in there without it kind of flowing over. And then we've got all these hanging stems with leaves, and it looks so pretty. So I am going to add some water to that and find a window for it. And then my last project is going to be propagating this um, lovely gigantic um, goldfish plant, which I, I'm going to try not to crush any of the leaves. And all we're going to do for this, super, super simple, is grab a pair of scissors and cut off some of the stems and um, then we're going to just put them directly into the soil. Water propagation works a little bit differently. You would um, cut the stems and then and then put them into water and watch for roots to grow. Soil propagation, you just plop it right in the soil. So let me get some scissors and cut off some stems and show you how that goes.
All right, so this guy, this guy needs a pretty big haircut and I'm not even gonna use all these pieces that I'm cutting off. But I just cut a little piece. I'm gonna cut several more, um, just in a place that's below um, some leaves. I wanna give it some space uh, to be able to grow. This piece right here is going to flower at some point. I can see little flowers already started. I don't know if you can see those right there. Um, so we can plant that in the soil. Um, this little guy here is sticking up and has lots of, I try to look for really healthy leaves to cut off um, because I feel like those have the best chance of growing and doing really well. Um, so we're gonna cut one or two more here and then we'll put them in our, in our pot. Um, I'm gonna do this really long one as well, but I'm gonna cut it into two sections because this one definitely needs um, to be a part of this haircut. So now that we've started, I'm gonna move this guy out of the way. We are going to take off um, the bottom several leaves. So I just kind of pluck them off just like this. And um, there's a little flower that has to come off, so that's kind of sad, but um, we're just gonna pluck all those off. I have a little tool um, that I got somewhere. Um, you can easily use the end of a spoon or a fork or something like that, but I'm gonna use this to just poke a hole in my soil and push the stem down in there. I'm using the pot from um, the other last plant that I propagated, the um, peperomia, and um, I had a free pot that way. So I'm just gonna chop off, uh, oops, I went the wrong way. I'm gonna use a different stem here. Um, you wanna make sure that you're taking the leaves off so that they're facing, they're kind of like growing down. Um, so you can see these kind of head downward in direction. So I'm plucking them off the bottoms. Um, I try not to feel too bad about the fact that I'm plucking leaves off this thing because um, in the long run it's going to be a good thing, but um, yeah, I feel a little bit guilty when I do that. So I'm just going to poke another hole, stick that down in, and then I have a few more here. I'm going to pluck the leaves off of and do this, poke that down in the soil, and we'll do that with the rest. It's going to make a lovely, a lovely little baby plant. Um, so this can be a really nice thing if you have plants. Um, can make a nice gift for somebody or, um, you know, a nice teacher appreciation gift. Um, plants are kind of the gift that keeps on giving. So there we go. I'm just going to put all those in. I'm going to water that and then that one's done as well. Thank you for joining me for this repotting and propagation project. I always have um, so much fun doing this. It's really kind of a therapeutic thing and I'm glad I got to share it with you today. Um, I'd also like to share with you a couple of books that we have available for checkout at the library. The first one is The Unexpected Houseplant by Tova Martin. Um, this book has some beautiful photographs of um, kind of some unexpected plants maybe that are meant to be outdoor plants or maybe some some house plants you haven't seen before. Um, there are lots of interesting plants in here and um, different ways to display them. It's just a really cool book and her photographs are beautiful. Um, the other book I have to show you is pretty important I think. It's called What's Wrong with My House Plants or with my house plant, and the authors are David Deerdorf and Katherine Wadsworth. Um, this book is just full of information on how to diagnose uh, plant problems, how to fix them, and um, has also some just beautiful photographs of plants. Um, these books can be checked out at the library by giving us a call. We can put them out on our table outside and um, you can come pick them up. We can't wait to see you again in the library in person, but for now we're glad we get to check books out to you this way. You can check our website at laconialibrary.org. Um, follow our Facebook page. We have constant programming. Um, we have children's programs, um, story times, craft programs book talks, and um, now a little bit of adult programming as well. And we're just adding new things all the time. So 
check all those things out. Check out our YouTube page um, and we hope to see you again soon. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thank you.